Hi everybody, Nick here. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the Spyderco Sharpmaker. Out of the box, this is what you get. You get two coarse rods, two bronze rods to keep you from cutting your hand off, and two fine rods alongside the base. And the base has holes, and you can look online for tutorials. I think the official manual for it's on YouTube even, so I'm not going to get into the technical stuff. But this configuration right here, what you see, is pretty great. I'll say that much. Um, because it's great for keeping a sharp edge sharp. If you've got a knife and the angle works, see the 30 degrees or 40 degrees, this is a brain-dead simple way to keep your knife in good condition. Just keep it vertical. Do this. You can keep doing it on TV. You can use the stones to sharpen even in some serrations of certain types. Um, and, you know, you can even use it for scissors and things like that. In this configuration, the sharp maker is great if your knife is already sharp. And that's the big deal. So this is $60 right here. If you've got a knife that needs reprofiling, uh, where the blade angle is wrong and you need to widen it or thin it out a little bit, you're going to be in a world of hurt, particularly if your knife is some kind of a more modern super steel, something like S30V or M390 or, God help you, M4. This is not going to suffice to make a new angle on your on your blade. To that end, Spyderco sells the diamond rods for this. And these are sharpening rods that are metal that's coated in diamond powder. And the goal of these is to basically you use the same motion, except they're diamonds, so they're more abrasive. And these will actually sharpen a knife. Uh, and they'll sharpen even more wear-resistant steels. And they'll get it to a place where it can work with the coarse and then the fine, and then you're, you're in good shape. But the problem is, these diamond rods are 50 bucks, and they're just not that durable. I've probably used them to reprofile six knives of modern steels, and they're starting to fail already. And I, I didn't press hard, I didn't do any of the things wrong, they're just the diamonds wear off. And you get a little thin sheen of diamond on the countertop, which is should be luxurious, but it really doesn't feel that way when you paid 50 bucks for the freaking diamonds. Um, anytime you use these. So right there, that's a little bit of a demerit on this. They're no, it's no good for reprofiling out of the box, and you're paying 50 bucks more if you want to reprofile, and that's like 50 bucks, I mean, God, that's like five, 10 bucks a knife uh, if you're getting the kind of life I did out of them. Beyond that, they don't really get super, super sharp on the sharp maker. Um, if you want to go super sharp, you need your extra fine stones like these, and these are another 30 bucks on top of what you already paid, your 60, I'm sorry, your, yeah, your 60 and your 50 here to get super sharp. And this gets you to a shaving sharp because these are an, an even finer grit, and they, they produce a beautiful edge. There's no doubt about that. But by the time you're in this deep, you've paid $140 for a system, and that's not money well spent. 60 bucks for the basics to keep a sharp knife sharp is perfectly reasonable. It makes it easy, makes it happy. But I would recommend that you do not go the route of buying the diamonds. And you do not buy the ultra fine. Because if you feel like you need to reprofile a lot of knives, or if you feel like you need a super sharp hair popping edge, this system is not the way to do that. For 140 bucks, 150 bucks, uh, you can... Oh man, you can buy an incredible set of bench stones, diamond steel stones, that'll do everything you need. Similarly, you can buy, you're, you're almost to a, an entry level Edge Pro. And I love the Edge Pro, I'll probably do a review of that sometime here soon. But you're, you're all robust in that money. Save up a month or two more and you've got an Edge Pro. And that'll work for any knife. It puts a just blindingly sharp edge. The only thing it doesn't do as well as the sharp maker is serrations. And you shouldn't be buying serrated knives anyways, except for bread. So that's kind of the problem. The sharp maker is not a sharp maker. It's a sharp keeper. And if that's your goal for it, then it's a great system. And that's why I recommend it to family and friends who live too far away from me for me to sharpen their knives is because it makes it easy to get a good edge. But don't think about this as a professional quality sharpening system. 150 bucks buys a lot of professional sharpening, buys a lot of bench stones, and it buys a good chunk of some more professional edge sharpening systems. So get the basic kit if that's all you're going to need for your life. And if you feel like you're going to get into sharpening more, skip the accessories for the sharp maker and just go, go big. Um, also, don't drop the stones. I dropped one of the extra fines on another stone and ended up with a chip. 
and it, and now two sides of the thing are unused bubble, and that's just not good. So Sharp Maker is a beauty kit if that's all you need. If you need to keep sharp knives sharp, but beyond that, I'd go ahead and skip it and jump up to something a little bit more impressive, uh, and spend some time on the skill. Or if you're like me and don't have the coordination, spend some time on a fancier system. Hope this is helpful and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.